Alright guys, welcome back again. Looking at her, I realize how crazy I'm being right now. The bust of the neighboring town is ordinary for me. But in this ordinary thing, there is something extraordinary. Well, in short, to be honest, my mind starts to twist like a Rubik's Cube, realizing we're about to go on a date. Oh. Crap, I'm getting really nervous. I take a deep breath trying not to let Saber notice. And I know I shouldn't, but I sneak one more glance at Saber. My heart jumps. The Saber sitting next to me is a Saber I don't know. No Saber herself is the same. All that's changed is the place. But still. Just that makes me realize she's different. Something I didn't notice back in my place. This ordinary scene seems like a different world just because it has Saber in it. Her hair is like golden silk and her green eyes are so beautiful that their mere presence is overwhelming. This is what I'm talking about. She was a freaking poet. <laughs> there wasn't much to compare her against up until now, so I forgot about it. I remember the time I first met Saber. I was probably avoiding her because I was embarrassed about being fascinated by her. No matter what Saber says, she's a girl before she's a swordsman for me. I didn't know how to approach her and didn't realize my feelings for her. It's stupid even for me. I was finally able to believe in Saber with everything I have, and then I decided to go on a date with her. Just those two are in the wrong order. And I finally realized when our day is about to begin just how big a deal it is to go on a date with a girl you like. But that's fine. I can only do my best so I can't back out now. I calm myself and shake off my weak spirits. The bus has crossed the bridge and it's going into the developing area where the buildings are. I breathe out and prepare myself. The announcer I'm so used to hearing announces the next stop, Shinto Station. It's still 9 in the morning, but the area in front of the station is crowded. Most shops open at 10, but cafes and bookstores are already open. There are already many more people than there were at Miyama City, and this place is as crowded as it is on the weekends. <laughs> Look. Getting off the bus, Saber looks around unhappily. It's only natural. Saber was against this date and people passing by are looking at her curiously. She must not feel too good about that. <laughs> But that's gonna follow us around for the whole day. If there's a way to calm it down, it's to make Saber have so much fun that she forgets about the people staring at her. I pound a fist and turn to Saber. Saber, さあ、別にこれといって興味のある場所はありませんから。そもそも私にそのような選択をする知識はありません。本当か。それは参ったな。じゃあ本当にここからは出たとこ勝負なわけか。セイバーに行きたいところがなくて、こっちもどこに行っ
I know she was irritated not being up for this and being looked at by curious eyes, but I didn't think she was this irritated. あなたの見積もりの甘さには一言したかったのです。あなたは周りのことは目に入ってるくせに、どうも自身に対する扱いが存在です。結果、そごを埋めるためにあなた自身が対価を払わなくてはならなくなる。と聞いているのですか、シロ
I raise my hand. And then... There's Saber with an expression like a cornered rabbit. Saber? いえ、それは家に帰りたいってことか。いえ、屋敷に帰りたいわけではなくですね。その、今日はひどく緊張したので、普段より疲れてしまったのです。it's even funnier because if you notice with Saber's tone, her inflection tends to change whenever she's embarrassed or shy or even uh, flustered. Like right now, she used to, she had a scolding voice earlier and it went high just now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> まさかそのようなことはありません。疲れたというのは語弊がありました。その正しくはですね。Ah, she's hungry and she likes what she sees in the menu. Saber stops. The small gurgling sound was fortunately small enough that only I could hear. Oh, if she was hungry, she could have just told me. 申し訳ありません。つまり昼食は早めにしてもらえると助かる。ということです。了解。そうだな。面白みがないけど、無難なところを頼んでみて、さっさと飯にありつこうか。It's simple if all we want are light snacks. I order two things from the lunch menu and decide to eat quickly. I consider what to do in the afternoon while drinking the after meal coffee. What I learned this morning is that anything physical is not good. Saber gets serious when it comes to contests. That's good for me, but it makes Saber stand out even more. After we finished the game, Saber got angry because she caught all the attention she wanted to avoid. そんなわけで、体を動かすのは避けると。なあ、セイバー、二度目になるけど、どこか行きたいところってあるか私にですかいえ、特にはありません。私ではわかりませんから。Saying so, Saber lifts her teacup. Saber ordered English tea and it seems she really likes the taste. We don't have much English tea at my place and even if we did, it's all instant tea bags. It seems Saber was a bit dissatisfied with the drinks at my house as she seems to like English tea. I should put that into consideration starting tonight. Saber's sitting there and drinking tea. She doesn't seem happy or bored. If I had to use one word to describe her, it'd be that she looks natural. She drinks her tea sitting up straight in the shadows of the streaming sunlight. Even though this is the first time I've seen such a thing, it doesn't seem strange. It feels like I've seen such a scene before. Why do I feel that? The saber I know is the tense girl who's always holding a sword and fighting. Ah, so good. But it's only natural. I also know her attitude after she lets go of her sword. When she stops fighting, Saber has always been calm and gentle. This scene looks natural rather than new because this is her true nature. No matter how superior she is as a swordsman, it is natural for Saber to be like this. Rather, it's abnormal for her to hold a sword at all. I once thought in my dream that she wasn't suited for fighting. I don't think I'm wrong. No matter how superior her technique or no matter how many battles she's experienced, as long as she is who she is, it can't have been a comfortable place to be. So this is natural. Saber's resting, not holding a sword. This calm scene is the way she should be. We do the same thing in the afternoon. I go to every place I can think of and Saber follows me silently. But it's not as painful as it was in the morning. I don't know if it's because I'm getting used to it or whether Saber's complying. Saber still isn't talkative, but if I look closely, her expression isn't like it is when she's mad. There's a feeling of accomplishment and happiness when I see Saber leave a shop with light steps. So, considering many factors that might make Saber happy from many angles. I'm a bit dubious, but I'm determined that this shop will be the best suited for Saber. <sighs> Saber stands there dumbfounded. 
I don't know if her shoulders are shaking because she's angry or because she's deeply moved. I love how surprising the lady she is to see all these stuffed animals. Of course, there's actually not a rule like that. But since there are only women and no men, it's like an unwritten rule. To prove it, there are only girls in here. The golden haired saber is being stared at, but being a guy, I'm being glared at. I'm sure they want to tell me not to come into their sanctuary. I feel the same way. I would not approve of men entering this place. She asks me with upturned eyes. I look away instantly and contain my laughter. The funny thing is, Saber is strange for thinking she's strange for thinking lions are cute. Shiro, <笑>いや、我々ライオンってのがあんまりにも I go into the store while trying to hold my laughter. Well, it looks like the stuffed animals are that way. So, it's taken about an hour to go around the store. I looked at Saber staring at stuffed animals and felt really nervous with all the girls there. Anyways, it was the most tiring hour so far. But the worst part is, we've only looked through half the store. It took us this long to look at just half of it because Saber was frequently paralyzed. I mean, Saber kept staring down stuffed animals. It looks like Saber is interested in the other half too, so I'll have to accompany her. シロ、どうしたのです。ため息をついて歩き通して疲れてしまったとか。ん。ああ、ちょっと疲れた。こんな程度で寝を上げるほど嫌はじゃないんだけどな。ここは特別だ。やっぱり慣れないことはするもんじ
and astonishment. Saber opens her mouth as if she just realized that. いえ、同じです。あなたはいつも通りの素人でした。だろ。だから俺に気を使う必要なんてないぞ。ほら、それじゃ行こう。一番気に入ったものを買うんだから、あと半分も見ないとダメだろ。I take Saber's hand. Saber silently follows me. そうでした。she murmurs to herself. The unusual day goes by quickly. Saber never laughed, nor could I laugh from my heart. It's not like there was any memorable moments, nor were it was so boring that I would regret doing it. To be frank, this was nothing. Saber might have been happier if we stayed at the mansion and trained together. But today wasn't bad. It wasn't fun or boring, but I can be proud of it in the end. After the battle is over and everything goes back to normal, it would be too sad if all the time Saber and I have spent was fighting. And even if it's something stupid, she has to spend some time not fighting, or there's no point in her being here. So I can be proud of myself for now. The end is near. When everything comes to an end, and when there's no more need to fight, if Saber will remember this moment and remember that this happened, that alone is enough for me to be proud of. We go home on foot. Because Saber said, Just as I decide to go home by bus. There's some wind now. The vivid setting sun is lighting the bridge red. Saber notices something and stops. She is watching a mountain of rubble. It's not that tall even though it's a mountain of rubble. Steel frames and the likes are piled right up to the water. Surfacing are slightly destroying the flow of the river. I don't know why, but it seems like a ship sank or something and pieces of it float into a mountain. I heard the local residents have been demanding its removal for a long time since it damages the beautiful site. まだ残っていたのかとあれの原因は私ですから前回の戦いで水上戦を余儀なくされここで宝具を使ってしまった被害は川を干上がらせただけでしたが運悪く停泊していた船を巻き込んでしまったのですはあ巻き込んだってまさ
はい何か言いましたかシロ言った今日は楽しかったか聞いた She gasps Zipper opens her eyes in amazement そうですね新鮮でないと言えば嘘になります She says so in a voice of hope As if such a thing will never happen again I knew what her answer would be All I can do now is nod and just go home Everything can return to the way it was Just like that そうか I nod looking at Saber ならまた行こうこんなの別に今回限りってわけじゃないんだから And I say something I won't be able to take back Saber freezes She must have realized what I want to say She shakes her head looking directly at me As if saying there won't be a next time As if this mistake is only for today それはなぜ I know Saber's answer But I ask not liking the answer I expect なぜも何もないサーバントは戦うために存在するものです今日のような行為は自らの存在を否定することになるシロが休憩すべきだと判断したから従いましたがもうこの先は体を休める必要はないでしょう残る敵は少ないシロが命じるなら今すぐにでもランサーを探し出したいほどですが She looks at me with eyes full of fire Saber is saying she'll start fighting right now if I order it That causes me to get mad about all the things I can't approve of なんだよそれそんなに戦いたいのかお前は当然でしょう戦えば戦うほど聖杯に近づくのです私にとって戦闘は何よりも優先すべきことですそれは素人って分かっているはずですがああ分かってるだからおかしいんだ前から言いたかったんだけどな矛盾してるぞお前セイバーは戦いが大事だって言う割に自分から戦いたいなんて思ってないだろう他に手段がないからいやいや戦ってるに過ぎないんじゃないのかそんなことはありません私は戦闘をためらわない勝利するためならば手段は選ばないと言ったでしょう Yeah, she did say that. But that's not a reason to like fighting. できる範囲でだろいいか、セイバー。単純に他のマスターを倒して聖杯を手に入れるって言うならさ。ライダーみたいに人を襲って力を得ればいい。だけど、セイバーはそれが嫌なんだろう。それは。無関係な人間を巻き込みたくないんじゃない。いざ戦いになれば、人は死ぬものだと。お前はよくわかっている。そうだからこそお前は戦闘を最小限に抑えたがっていた戦えば死者は出るだから早く終わらせたいって I thought he was done guys sorry <laughs> damn after opening her eyes as if she's seen a ghost she grits her teeth and strains her stare 違います私は戦いを怖がってなどいませんそうだな確かにお前は初めから怖がってなんていなかったと思うそんな個人の恐怖なんて王の使命とやらで塗りつぶされていたんだろうから<笑>だけどそれでもお前は戦いを嫌ってるお前は単に強くて戦いがうまかっただけだけどそれはお前が望んだ才能じゃないだろうはっきり言うぞお前は戦いになんて向いていない本当は剣を取ることさえ嫌だったはずだ戦うことだけが目的だっていうのはお前自身がお前をごまかすための言い分に過ぎない It's so simple Why didn't you or anybody around you notice it? シロいくらあなたでもそれ以上の侮辱は許しません図星だから我慢できないんだろう認めたら戦えなくなるからな She grits her teeth 
Saber glares at me in anger. I can't back away. If I believe I'm right, I can't run away. だから、やめろよ。お前だってやめたがってるんだろ。剣なんて自分に向いてないって分かってるんだろ。なら、やめてしまえばいい。サーバントなんてやめて、もっと自分に向いたことをしろ。<laughs>